is a book review of a very unusual book, Peter Porker, The Spectacular Spider-Ham, The Complete Collection, Volume 1. Now, this is this came out in 2019, includes Marvel Tales 1 and Peter Porker, The Spectacular Spider-Ham, 1 to 17, and a variety of people were involved, Tom DeFalco, Steve Meller, Steve uh, Keats, and many others. So, there's Spine, it's very decent and it's uh, about 420 pages and it's all in colour so you've got all the colour now it is the Marvel Universe but not the Marvel Universe that you would recognise obviously some of the characters in it are standard Marvel characters but obviously being animals funny animals now I love the funny animals comics that were done in the, the 40s and 50s quite a lot of those are very enjoyable this I did struggle with I suppose because it was, it's not like, um, not Brand Eck, it's not Brand Eck, nor is it like the Funny Animals. It's very much of its own creation, obviously based on the Spider-Man universe with all the characters. So lots of the characters turn up. And I just, there were some good stories in here. I mean, there was some action. This one is one of the more decent ones that I really quite like. This one, uh, in the town that never grew up. And that's a good, that was a good yarn. That would be a, a decent story in any Marvel comic. I love that. Great little good characters, obviously, James and etc. You've got here Spider-Man 2000 to 1 Under the Sea. And there's lots of the dreaded Boar Damu. So you've got, they've obviously introduced lots of characters. Now the drawing is a bit over the place. Sometimes the drawing is really, really good. Really nice drawing. But the quality of the drawing in some, some of the places is pretty odd. And very weird and rough. Uh, not my cup of tea. You've got Thor here. And some of the things, like the awesome Odan. Odan. And Thor is called Thar. Don't ask me. I don't know. I'm certain that when these uh, were all thought out, they thought it was hilarious, all these names. But however, some of them, I must admit. I saw. But there was this one, nice Christmas one. That's a great one. We've got Daredevil in. Good story. So they really are some generally good, but it's 50-50. I said some of the Silver Squirrel. Obviously not the Silver Surfer, but you've got the Silver Squirrel. So, but they, if you're in the mood, I think it's one of these books that I probably could pick up instead of trying to attempt to read it all 400 pages in one go. And you sort of like think, oh, this, it, it does struggle. I have to say I struggled with this. I imagine that it's one of these ones that I could pick up a story and think, you know, I'm going to read this one. Peter Booker, In the Lost Temple of the Golden Retriever. Sort of like the Donald Duck stories. I suppose that's the sort of Carl Barks kind of. And you've got the sub-merchandiser and so on and so on. So there's the Dracula in the storyline there and Captain America and so on and so on. So there's a, lots of familiar characters in, obviously, in Animal. Thing. And you've got the... Uh, Basically looks like the great gargoyle thing, but obviously not. It's obviously a, a potter, potter instead. You got the Avengers or the Scavengers as they're called in this. And it's full of lots of one-liner jokes like that all the way through. And again, I thought it was it was fine. But it was it, not one that I think I could read all the way through without really struggling. But it's a sort of book you could dip into and have a good laugh. And it's it has its charm. So sort of probably a winter's evening, Christmas time, I could sit down and probably have a good chuckle reading through some of these stories. There's some nice little tales for that. So and it's fine. But I wouldn't say it's a masterpiece by any stretch. It was could have uh, could have been so much better, I think, maybe. Peter Porker, The Spectacular Spider Ham, the complete collection, volume one. I wonder if there'll be a volume two or volume three. I've no idea.